Child, Ronaldo Benito, will perform for you here, now. The world's worst impressions, guaranteed to horrify yeah. and astonish. And we can perform for you your very favorite uh, fictional characters, celebrities, historical figures, anyone that you would like to see us impersonate for me. A few examples. Tiger Woods. He's a pig. <laughs> Any other requests from the audience? Wells West impressions guaranteed to horrify and astonish. Yes, sir. President Obama. President Obama. Anytime I go to do that one, a little red light appears right here. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly don't find it funny anymore. <laughs> Any other requests? Judy Garland. <laughs> Ask your parents. Yes. <laughs> Adam Sandler, go! Uh, I was happy Gilmore. <laughs> <laughs> World's worst impressions, guaranteed! <laughs> Any other requests from the audience? Anything at all? Yes, sir. Who? Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick. Oh, okay, Bill Belichick. I can actually do this one. <laughs> so, uh, we went out and then we played our best. And um, they played our best, and um, they played our best, and uh, we got we got room to room. Uh, ask me a question. <laughs> okay, that's all. <laughs> hey, World's Best Impressions, guaranteed to horrify and astonish. Anything else? Beulia, 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 Beulia. I saw half a hand over there. Somebody relevant. <laughs> Bird! Oh, all right. Very good. Let's see. Uh, uh, Elvis Presley. Too soon? What? All right. Now, what we need to do, ladies and gentlemen, to get the rest of the cast to the stage so we can move on with the rest of the show, is I need all of you, very loudly at the count of three, to yell, actors assemble. All right. Can you do that? Yeah. Excellent. Wow, just <laughs> bursting with enthusiasm this morning. Ready? One, two, three! Actors assemble! We like superheroes. Yes, yeah, superheroes. The pink blur followed by Faye Captain Hook. All right. Very good. Now, we have one more tradition here at, uh, well, actually, a new tradition too. Introduce yourself there, Ricardo. Very good, all right. Now, the next tradition here at Commedia Armenia is we need another suggestion from the audience of one of your favorite tragedies. Then, Commedia Armenia, with all of its training, with all of its skill, with all of its gravitas, will butcher in just two minutes' time. So one of your favorite tragedies. The Lorax. The Lorax. <laughs> <laughs> Any other requests from the audience? Anything at all?
especially the creepy Lorax. <laughs> That guy keeps laughing. <laughs> and suddenly they found each other. It was a lumberjack and a tree. I'm gonna be a tree now. <laughs> Good tree. <laughs> All right. And they fell madly in love. What a beautiful tree. I don't even want to chop you down. And everyone was really, <laughs> really shocked by this. <gasps> yes, because they didn't want to see the tree give the lumberjack wood. Oh. <laughs> And they ran away together, and they decided that uh, they would, I don't know, have some sort of abomination of a union. <laughs> and the Lorax had an idea. He would whisper sweet nothings in the love jack's ear. Sweet nothing. Sweet nothing. That's the tree. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, she was overcome with rage and started chopping down the tree. <laughs> Sap. <laughs> it was sappy. Oh, oh, oh thank you. Uh, yes, until so finally she realized what she had done. No, what have I done? And in a fit she took her axe and said, oh, happy axe. Oh, happy axe. And started <laughs> killing herself. Oh, horrifyingly. <laughs> I didn't want this. He didn't want this at all. He was devastated. He had enough magic the Lorax to bring one back to life. But only one. He had to make a choice. The Lorax's choice. <laughs> Who would he bring back? No! <laughs> it was horrible, and the train went away. And that was the Lorax's choice with Romeo and Juliet. Bye! The Mania Mania. Wow. And you never said, I am the Lorax. I'm pretty sure we're okay. Because that was terrible. That one's for the books. All right. Thank you. I really, you don't know this person. <laughs> All right, wow. Now, <laughs> now that we can maybe go on with the show, uh, Comedia Mania is very happy to be back here again at the Robin Hood Springtime Festival. Happy to see all you fine people. So let me introduce you to the cast here at Comedia Mania. First, we have the very beautiful... Isabella! <laughs> the very musical... Katerine. The very exotic Ricardo, pretty, witty, and gay. What? <laughs> it means happy. Right. And I, of course, am Ronaldo Finito, because my career is Finito. Aww. Make him a caring, I guess. <laughs> and then, wait, there's only three of you. Yes. I usually introduce four actors. No, oh, but you just said three, boss. So four of you and me is five. Five. Right, five. Ooh, ooh. Five plus three is eight, Ronaldo. Yes, it is, but that's not what I mean. It's five. But, Ronaldo, there are five of us. How are there five of us on this stage? Oh, jeez. Okay, look. One, two, three, four, five. See? That's easy as cake. Oh, my God. Why did I become an actor? They don't make any money. Hint, hint. Oh, anyways, moving right along. Thank you very much. This is... Comedia Mania Show Up. Next. Left. And shameless theatrical nonsense. nonsense. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this is a masked comedy show inspired by the wonderful Romans such as Plautus, perfected by the brilliant Italians such as Scala, and now practiced for centuries by actors, artists, clowns, and hack entertainers looking to make a buck. And today, we, we are, are those hacks. So what are we doing today, Thank Ronaldo? You. Yes, uh, these people are expecting the show. Oh, all right. No! Last time we got letters. I thought that was fan mail. <laughs> Cease and desist. <laughs> no. <clears throat> so what will we be performing? Excellent question, Katerina. Today I thought we would really shake things up a bit. But me madre says if you shake it, it makes God cry. <laughs> uh, no, no, uh, uh, Today I thought we would do something that this troupe has yet to accomplish. Entertain an audience? Oh, no, no, we're going to do a beautiful story uh, of uh, passion and adventure and friendship, companionship in the pursuit of love. Undine! No, stop oh. guessing it. Oh. In the heart of the sea. God. Ew, ew. <laughs> the human centipede. No, <laughs> ah. what is wrong with you people? Paint chip, pharmaceutical. The fact that I'm really not Spanish. <laughs> no, we will be performing. 
forming a classic scenario, a beautiful tale of import. The Pantalones Bride, where Master tries to get lucky. Yes, I, of course, will play the uh, very handsome Master Pantalone. You will play my servants, uh, Arlecchino, Isabella, and Capitano. Can we, uh, y yes? Can, do you understand that? Go backstage. Can you just platform people, platform. Good, good, good job, go get changed. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, yes, please, to present to you a very punchy <laughs> version of Pantalone's Bride on this last day of the Robert Hood Springtime Festival, please enjoy Comedia Mania's presentation. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, stop. Stop. Very good. Oh, so, uh, you, go and fetch me some flowers, and, uh, 
cheapest, strongest bottle of wine money can buy, and, uh, oh, my horse blanket. Horse blanket? Yes. Oh, for the, uh, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Got it. Yes, for my horse. <laughs> you, Palakino, go and fetch me my servant and guard, Capitano. Ah, uh, you ladies better look out, yes, pretty soon. Senor Pantalone gonna be off the market, yes, yes. You can't have any of this. Like a glad bag full of oatmeal, isn't it? Yes, all right. More definition than a dictionary. Ho! Here he is, Webster. Sir, reporting for duty, sir! Whoa! Ah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Capitano, uh, where have you been? Ah, uh, I was here. And before that? There. Before that, backstage! Before that! Oh, well, I went into the kitchen, thought I could cause some trouble. And I saw Isabella and thought, maybe I could cook her. But she's gotten ever so skinny lately. Oh, shut up! God! Capitano, I require your assistance. Not to fear. Oh, Capitano is here. Lay your mind to rest, Periactoi. Pantalone! No, it's a sword. God. And with it, I will smite any foe. For I know all the moves. The low guard. Oh. The high guard. Ah. The really high guard. Hey. Crouching tiger. Hidden dragon. The 300. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, really? <laughs> Less scary when advertised. <laughs> oh, enough of this nonsense, Capitano. We are in serious trouble here. Oh, trouble here. Oh, here. Take my sword. Ah. Before the barbarians ravish my body. Mama, can you save me, Mama? Yikes. Double yikes. Go. No, Capitano, I just need you to go get the horse so we can go to Bogamo. Oh. oh, but of course, Bogamo, why didn't you say so? I just did. I wasn't listening. Right. So, uh, I, I will go and uh, take care of some business and meet you, the provisions, and horse back here. Uh, we must hurry. Tally ho! Do you need to make? I can talk about that in front of the audience. No, it's okay. Uh, I have a book about that. No, I don't want to hear about it. I'm going to do something that's not that. Have you no privacy? God, oh, oh. <laughs> Hold Oh, all right, very good. Oh, 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 oh
It's the other way. It went this way. Back around. Hey, did you oh, fart? Oh, wait, it was again. me from before. All oh, right, very good. Ah, oh, smells like home. Uh, are we there yet? Oh, it's Bergamo, my hometown. Are we there yet? And you're certain this is Bergamo? Are we there yet? Yes, for God's sake, man, we're here. Stop asking. Bergamo, Bergamo, Bergamo. Ah, God, well, if the thing doesn't work out with the Donna Flaminia, we could always sell the talking horse. <laughs> Oh, 
Would it be the God of Lavinia? Yes! Oh, I mean... Yes! Oh, yes! Now stand back, my fellows, and watch me work my seductive magic. Yes! First step, there is the sensual clearing of phlegm. Thank you very much. You've been a great audience. Are you excited? 